All right, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the flying wing. Just about everything is finished. Got the hatch, the door, everything's on there. Carbon fiber spar. Uh, the reinforcements for everything else uh, is, is in place. Uh, she's looking pretty good, actually. And that's got to run off of uh, one of these 4,100 KVs. And that's what this motor fits. So we're going to, I need to pick up a 40 amp ESC and I have the smaller packs here, which will be perfect. And that's 4S. So you get the CG set up, you know, flight controller is going to be a, uh, 405 mini, uh, 405 wing mini, speedy B. Um, we're going to go with that. So it'll fit perfectly right there. And then run the motor wires through to it. Battery pack wires around there. Two servos will go over right here. I love the way this goes together because these pins just rotate out. You pull them straight out and then you can pull the wing right off the spar. So if you break one, you can always just reprint one. Ailerons are ready to go. Or elevons, I should say, are all ready to go. Um, I just kind of threw it together, you know, because I'm always waiting for parts. So I figured might as well use what I have laying around the shop and uh get everything put together and just just to have something to fly you know but she's looking clean looking nice can't wait to get it all finished i have just about everything here to do it with um i even have a speedy b f405 wing app but i think it's too big for this i mean it might not be it'll probably work i have a couple of them but I wanted to use the mini just because of weight. But uh, worst case scenario, I'll just use one of the wings that I have in the drawer down there. Um, and then pop it in here. But the only thing I do need is like a 40 amp ESC, which I don't have lying around. Because I wasn't using 40 amp ESCs. I needed a little bit more power. I guess I could put any ESC in there that's 2 to 6S because it's the 4S system that I'm running um you know i got an 80 amp but that you risk frying the motor if you go over a certain amount i'd have to govern it plus it's going to be a lot heavier it's a bit bigger esc so we'll get that 40 amp esc and then i have you know servos laying around we got three of these motors i'm not going to be using because i'm going to replace them because one is dead uh so i'm just going to put them on this they even have an adaptation for two motors on this so that I might do that, depending on what happens, because typically they want to use ASA, I use PETG.